All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you guys can notice the uh, quality on the videos ten times better. Finally got my new Canon today. Um, the last one was an HD. This one is. Um, if the focusing's out of whack, um, I let it charge for six hours. Let the battery get charged up. I'm gonna worry about messing around with the settings later. Um, it's already twenty times better in my opinion. So my next video, I'll make sure I read the manual and all the different settings and whatnot. Um, this doesn't have a built-in light, um, but I have a actually like a light that can mount to the camera and the tripod, and I have a microphone coming just in case the sound isn't good. So bear with me. Um, I tested it out. I think it sounds pretty close to you know how it should. But I'm gonna still grab a ten dollar microphone. With they have excellent reviews. But that's not what this is about. So. This is not the video I wanted to do first when I got my camera today. I wanted to do a how-to on a certain lock, but um, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. So I got this in the mail along with two challenge locks that I need to get done and sent back to the rightful owner. So I haven't forgot about those. One just came prior to the other one I've had for like a week and a half now. But um, So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick this American Series 5530. Um, it's APTC 12 cylinder. Um... It's six pit or it's drilled for six, but it's only pinned up with five. Just like almost a lot of the average American lock padlocks on the market, you know. Um, this is identical size and shape to the um, 1100 series, which is you know like an aluminum type body, I believe. Qu correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then it's also identical to the 5100 series, which is just solid steel. Um, you know they all have they even have the same course they're just made of different materials this one is just solid brass um and that plays more advantage in obviously not picking but like weather resistance and you know um toughness and whatnot but that doesn't phase us so the lock works um showed you the keyway boom let me go ahead and just zoom in a, a schmidgen just a little schmidgen See how good that focuses on the key by itself. Oh, well, that's not bad. It, it did it pretty quickly. Um, so there's our bidding. Pin one, two, three, and then four, and then five. Kind of put my fingernail on them this time instead of a pick. Three, four, five. So four and five are a little higher in the back. Pins one, two, and three may make it a little difficult to access them, but we should be able to get this picked and gutted. So. It works. I'm gonna go ahead. Really, nothing much more to explain. Um, just like all the other Americans I've been picking. Um, just in case we do get this picked, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools ready because I always have to reach in the way and yada yada yada. Just in case. I have not attempted to pick this yet, so. Let's see. All right, here we go. Hmm, that was weird. Oh, alright, I think we got a full set. Don't want to lose that. So, typically with Americans, when you get that full set, typically, not always, ooh, don't want to lose it. Come on, I had to push my tension wrench back in. But typically, you're like at the very end. Typically, not always. And I just screwed it up.
Oh, we're gonna get this thing. I don't. Yeah. Oh. And there it is. Picked. That wasn't bad. It was about five minutes and maybe four minutes with me talking. So just to get a nice close up of what the cylinder looks like when you have it picked, just in case you don't know. Maybe this is your first video. So that'll stay in a open position. While we go ahead and get this thing out, that's cool. Hopefully this will actually be like a 12 minute video or something. Because all we gotta do is gut it and put it back together. Alright, well, you know what that's not important right now. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. Um so yeah, that's a pretty cool lock. Um, 53, 55, 30 series. Um, this is the first attempt picking it. Not bad. About four minutes, five minutes maybe. Um, and I, like I said, I was, I, I think I definitely was right there because I called it, you know, a little bit before I got it open there, and I just kept screwing up my, um, you know, I was, I was over, I was, oh, whoa, God, man, I hate this trap, but I gotta get a new one. Um, but I was oversetting one of the pins in there so I'm not gonna lock it back up I'm gonna leave it unlocked don't even know where the key is the key is on the key ring anyway so um, I wanna see if this new tool that I got will actually work see if it can reach down inside of there Nah. I got this for like mortise cylinders and whatnot. It works really good, but if they're too tight, you can you can see this thing just not have enough power to go ahead and um, loosen up this. This does take a regular screw, if you can see. Man, I gotta work on this focus. Huh, there it is, man. That did it all by itself. Good job, camera. All right, still got it in the unlock position. Not like it mat. Ooh, not like it matters. This is not for um a belt or any type of serious thing. Set that there. So I had tried to um bypass it. So since we got this open and this wasn't too long of a video, um, blah, 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 which will make it long, but if you see, god dang it man, can I go a video without dropping anything, anything at all, pisses me off man, so if you see that inside there, that um, silver little looking uh, half moon circle, it's called a, a wafer, and that was American's lock uh, alternative to when people figured out how to bypass it real quickly with just this bypass tool. Um, instead of having to make a new lock in the design, they just added that in there, which prevents me from getting up into where the actuator and all that stuff is and, you know, getting it turned. So, that's all. Um, they do make breaker kits for the wafers. Um, I really want to order one. I had it in my cart and then I backed out when I wanted to buy this camera. But I did try off camera to just bypass it, and I could tell I was back there, but I could tell that I wasn't getting in also. So, you gotta make sure you, you, you can tell when they're in there. That's why I said you got a 50-50 chance. So, anyway. Try and make this like 13 minutes long. Just get a shimmy shim shim. Damn it, there's a uh, C-clip on it, which, actually, haha. -ha. Once in my life, I came prepared. Now, I know I'm using this the wrong way, but this is more for schlag and um, quick set. But I noticed a lot of times I could just start to get it pried a little bit. Like so. so sometimes they're on there, man. I'm, I tell you what.
Ah, man, we had it. These things are a freaking pain sometimes. Boy, I am struggling with this. <sighs> it's alright, we'll get it. Locked her cylinder up. I mean, it's embarrassing. Jeez. Just want to see what's in here. I have a feeling that there are no serrated key pins in here either. Um. Which I don't understand why. It's a newer American. Oh. Oh. Finally. <laughs> All that for that. Sorry, guys. I just made myself look really embarrassed. Um, so yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Um, I'm going to say I'm pretty confident that there's a spool. Um, should be the serrated spool. But other than that, I don't think there's serrated key pins, you know, and that's um, uh, American's thing. If you uh, get a close-up view, maybe it'll let me zoom in. Um, I have American pinning kits, and if you do, then you know that um, there's only two key pins that don't have serrations, and that's American 1 and American 2, which would be Master 0 and Master 1, um, but they're very short pins. That is a decently long pin, and there are no serrations, so I wish I had my actual camera light, but it'll be here soon. But we'll know here in a second, so I just wanted to point that out, that's why I think that. Um, now I need my cylinder to... Go ahead and get this apart and let's see what we got up in here. Okay, so where's my key pins going to come out? Okay, where they need to. Okay, well, our shim didn't go all the way through, but luckily I didn't screw nothing up this time. Alright, so... Like I said, the APTC 12 cylinder um, is drilled for six. That back hole is empty. Let me see. Maybe this light will just be better. You can see you can see my skin through the back side right. It's it's crazy trying to figure it out through a camera. Right here. That's that's drilled. That's the six hole that's drilled, but it is not pinned up. So this is an APTC 12 cylinder. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the key pins. For one through five look like and remember when I do mine I do one two three four five I know a lot of people start over here but now I am going to start over here with five okay there are serrations five has it four has it oh they're nice looking too they're like colored like black and white that's different and red oh uh, you know what they're probably um color coded if you've ever seen that um the pinning kit I have is a, an actual American kit, and it does not have that. So let's let's see if we can't get that in in the frame real quick. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll bring it. I'll bring the camera to us because <laughs> I'll be able to get a better shot. All right. So let's see what we got up top, and then we'll call it a day. All right. So starting with we could take this shim out it's not going to make a difference now that we got our follower in there starting with driver pin one got to be a serrated spool in here somewhere and look at that first first pin we have in here I'm trying to grip it so i can show you 
One of my favorite old time pins. Come on, baby, focus. There it is. That is a serrated spool. If you look real close, you can see just light serrations on the top and the bottom of the spool. Um, I love when I find them in like regular size pins. But yeah, that's a serrated spool. Spot one. Driver pin one, I mean. Driver pin two is also a serrated spool. So usually it's like there's either two um, serrated spools and then three plain driver, or not plain, but serrated, just plain serrated drivers, and then, um, or vice versa, three serrated spools and then just two serrated drivers. But spot two is also a serrated spool, and I'm loving this new camera. Spot three is... Okay, we're gonna take out spring one. Is also a serrated spool. What? That's a very I've not come across that yet in American Loth. That's why I was getting so many full sets. Okay, we'll just pull it out and fix it in our hand because it's a pain. And it is a serrated spool. Wow. That's that's interesting. I have yet to Okay, they they must all be that way. That's that must be new, um, or I've never seen it. <clears throat> it's usually always been a mixture. This is uh, driver pin four is a serrated spool, and we're gonna go from the back. <laughs> I'll be damned. That's that's cool. I like that. I'll give you a, a close up shot here in a second. So what I may do is um, I don't know if I want to change it up. Or maybe just add a six serrated spool, or like a regular spool, and see if that makes a. Come on, baby, focus. There it is. So there are five serrated spools. That's very. For me, I've always seen a mixture of you know, both. I'll have either three of, you know, serrated spools and two serrated, just plain serrated drivers, or I'll have it vice versa. So that's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get a close up here for you guys. And then I'm gonna call it quits on this video. All right, so there are the key pins. This is for the American 53 or 55 30 series. It almost looked like a nine. But if we just go ahead and take a quick look, oh, and I wanted to show you the the key pin. See how that's white? That looks like a dark red, white, um, and then these two look black or bluish. And now I'm thinking that they are color coded, so that must be a new thing. This yeah, this looks like a brand new lock. The box was very fresh. I mean, you can still see the oil, and the fact that they're all, all serrated spools like that. Come on, focus. I paid good money. Focus. Could be the lighting too, but. So we got driver, key pin 1, driver pin 1, key pin 2, driver pin 2, and so on. 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 5. That's pretty cool. I really, really like this lock. That was a good buy. That opened up my eyes. I'm going to have to look into seeing if I can find that because I kind of like that. The It's not, you know, it's still serrated. That's crazy. I didn't see that. That must have been because it was so close to the shear line. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture, thumbnail, and... That's it. I got to take my ass to bed. That was the American Lock 53, 5530 series. Sorry, I keep screwing that up. Um, let me know if you think the quality's uh, better. Thanks for watching, guys.